the immortal words of the monkeys. I'm a believer. Yes, I am. Wouldn't leave her, etc. I will not give you the entire song. But uh, one of the problems that the Jewish people have had, and we are currently in a, in a three-week period of national mourning, uh, in which there are two fast days that encompass us here. The 17th of Tammuz, which was the worship of the golden calf, the breaking of the tablets, etc. Terrible tragedy, terrible rebellion against God, etc. And the, the end of those three weeks is the 9th of Av, Tisha B'Av, which of course was the first tragedy, was the uh, spies that were sent by Moses and the Jewish people coming back from Israel, telling the Jews that there's no way that they can enter the land of Israel. The Jews despaired, gave up hope, etc., crying, and there was crying for generations afterwards, destruction of the first temple, second temple, many, many horrific events. What is in common between these two uh, fast days, the two tragedies, uh, the first two tragedies? First of all, the golden calf, and second of all, the sin of the spies. And one of the answers is, alluded to in Maimonides and other sources, is that the Jews didn't believe. Not that they didn't believe in God. They didn't believe in the Jews, meaning they didn't believe in themselves. Uh, here they were at Mount Sinai. They'd been in the desert. They'd been in the desert for a while. They Moses was the guy who the guy what was the prophet who took them out of the of Egypt, who took them out of slavery, crossed the Red Sea, uh, guided them in the desert, etc. Was responsible for the man coming down. All this type of stuff. Moses is a little late in coming down the mountain. They panic. They have no confidence. They have no optimism. They have no belief in themselves. They have no belief in God's belief in them. They have no belief in, in their eventual eternal goal. They don't believe it. And hence, they have to have some replacement for Moses because we can't communicate directly with God. Oh my, oh, what's going to happen? We have to have an intermediary. So they reach for an intermediary that they were used to in Egypt for hundreds of years, an idol, etc. But that's what they needed. There was a lack of belief in themselves and their ability to communicate with God, their ability for God to communicate with, for understanding what God wants from them, their, their, their uh, ability to continue to struggle, to survive, didn't have any belief. When it came to the spies, they come back from Israel and they say, it's, uh, it's, it's a fantastic land, but there's just no way we can defeat the current inhabitants. There's no way we can survive in that land. It's going to be a disaster. And the Jews, instead of having the confidence of belief in themselves, that God promised them that they'd get into the land. God said, you are my chosen people, etc., which should have inspired them with confidence and belief in themselves. They didn't have that. They despaired and they said, there's no way we're going to make it. There's no way we're going to get in. And it was only after 40 years in the desert that the Jews finally, by the 40th year, were able to have belief in themselves. In the words of Maimonides, in his commentary on the Mishnah, they believed in their souls and they trusted in themselves and they felt the love of God. So these three weeks are three weeks of doubt, of skepticism, not doubt in God, not doubt, of, not skepticism about God, but people were skeptical about themselves. It is our belief that God believes in us more than we believe in him, because when he invests in us, he gives us another day, another hour, another year, another decade, etc. That's an investment. You don't invest unless you have confidence in what you're investing in. God has confidence in us. He invests in each one of us every time we open our eyes. That's an investment. And God, therefore, is called El Emunah, the God of faith, meaning that God has faith in the human being. And he believes that we are able to do what we're supposed to do. So therefore, this is a time, these three weeks are a time that we need to work on, uh, on confidence in ourselves, on belief in ourselves and on an understanding that the same way that we believe in God, God actually believes in us, if not more. Uh, and every time we wake up in the morning, there's a special beautiful prayer we say, uh, unknown origin, but the prayer goes, I give thanks before you, the King of the universe who lives, who exists, who has restored my soul to me with incredible compassion. And we end it with the phrase, Rabba Emunasecha, great is your faith. And what that means is great is your faith in us. And that should really give us optimism, encouragement and faith in ourselves. If God has invested in me, 
how much more so should I invest in me? If God has invested in the Jewish people, how much more so should I invest in the Jewish people? If God believes in humanity, how much more so should I believe in humanity? Hopefully, when we get to a level where we actually believe that really, that uh, with the same degree that God believes in us, uh, that will be the time of complete redemption and Tisha B'Av will no longer be a fast day, it will be a day of feasting and joy. This is Mordechai Becha with the Gateways Parish of Lord.